What's up, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Black Wheel SS, and I'm back again with another video because I messed up on this truck. Nah, just joking. How y'all doing, man? It's been a while, man. Um, real quick video of my, uh, the 1937 pickup truck, the Chevrolet, that I painted years ago. I did the two-tone black, the Land Rover black and the blue, the 1957 Chevrolet blue, I think. Um, that's what I'm working on now, that's why I'm also dirty and dusty. Uh, quick thing, I already fixed the right fender, that was a problem. The tires were hitting the fender, and uh, before I even touched the truck, someone long, 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 long time ago fixed it. I mean, they did the body work to it. When I did, when I did it, it was a little bit of cracking on certain fenders, so I didn't, I fixed it. But now, there was a huge cracking on the front fender, which is bad. So now, I'm fixing everything. So now I have to redo somebody else's work. And also mine, so I ain't gonna lie, mine too. And then a new project with the dead cover. You know, it's the 1937 blue and black pickup truck that I did. And I on the, on the inside of the trunk, I put 191937, 1937. And then on the back right here, bam, Chevrolet. I'm gonna let y'all see it in a little bit. But now he have a bed cover on here. And it's made of wood, so that's why I'm fixing now. Um... I want to try my best, but if it don't work, I mean, forget it. I'm just going to do a put house paint on it, I guess. Uh, so far, I tried two different ways. This is my third try. Now I'm doing it as if it was a, a car. So I got my grounder here. Got bundle, fiberglass, and putty. So hopefully this will be my last time doing it before I paint it. But yeah, let me show you this bed cover. See, the 1937 pickup truck I did it. Had to fix this, this. Let me show y'all this fender. It was all bad. So. Had to do some welds to it too. Wet up the hole, weld up the holes that was in there. So, yep. I'm about to get to it. And I'll give y'all an update in a little bit. All right, guys, so here you go. I gotta fix this and that's it. After this, I'd sand this down in primer, I'm sand it. After letting the primer sit for like 24 hours, go ahead and primer it out, sand it. The next day I was sand it with 400, smooth it out, make sure it's smooth. And a little imperfection, we're gonna hit it with putty and a little bit more primer, but it shouldn't be none. I right, like all this gonna be done by putty. But yep, so we fixed it. It's not flexible no more like it was with the tires hitting it. About to take this all off down here. And um I'm gonna get ready to paint this stuff. The uh, trunk. So, as you know, you know it's a 1937 on there, but that's wood. You got it blocked by wood. I would love to take that off so we can kind of see it. 
but that's all right. I got another plan to put another 1937 somewhere on this truck where you're going to see it from a mile away. Even a helicopter and an airplane going to be able to see it. So, it's a hint right there. Got a prime of this spot. And also, there's one more spot over here. Bam, right there. So, yep, moving along with it. That's it, got everything primed down. Ready to go for the mall. Got a couple runs in my prime because I was a little bit too close. So got a little bug right here. This joke came out of blue while I was spraying too. But as you can see, the line is perfect. See where my shadow at? I'm following the line. See the line? Bam. Look at it. Got that line back on there. So that's all that's to it now. Um, I'll probably paint this first thing in the morning. Well, I got to sand it down. I forgot I sprayed primer right here. I don't know why I sprayed it for. Like, I honestly don't know why I sprayed it. So now I got to sand that. Actually, it dries. dry as I don't know what. Well, I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours anyway. Let it shrink. And uh, I just put three coats of it. Oh, yeah, that's it. Three coats of primer. That's it, folks. And it's done. I don't know what else I'm going to do. So I'm going to come back in the evening tomorrow. Come back tomorrow evening. Uh, I'm gonna paint it. So far I've been at it for two days. Yeah, two days. Um, had a little mishap with the, uh, taking all the way down to the metal and seeing that the reason why the tire is rubbing is because that fender itself at the front right there was bent. And someone put a bracket up under there, like a hard bracket up under there to uh, keep it like that. So what they did was they put about this much a bundle, that thick a bundle on it, and then they painted it. So I don't know how I didn't catch this uh, about two years, two three years ago, four years ago when I painted this truck. I don't know how I didn't catch it, but there was no imperfection showing, so that's probably why. And it was so much thick bundle that it wasn't showing, but now that it cracked, it showed all right through. So yeah, so that's it for me. I'm tired. So, been at it for two straight days in a row. Finally got the prime on. Tomorrow, we're coming in. Hey, we're laying down this paint. Laying down this clear. Hopefully, we don't have to mess with it. Uh, uh, scuffing up the clear. But if we do, shoot, forget it. We'll do it. So, all right, y'all.
All right, guys, so this is the first coat of the black paint. I'm not happy with the hood whatsoever. As you can see, I just did this side, this half over here. So the next layer I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it like side to side, bam, 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 all the way till I get to the middle probably. Uh, I'm not gonna film that, okay? Uh, I'm just disappointed with this. Hopefully the clear coat can clear it up. But the thing is about it, it's wood, so honestly, the bad, if it's so bad, only thing I gotta do is just put a house paint over it, you know? But I'm not okay with that whatsoever i hate it all right um but we'll see how the clear coat do now the side fenders the fenders shoot man you can't get no better than that man can't get no better than that now shoot look at that joke back in action dog back in action oh, yep yeah. I'm honestly not happy with that whatsoever. Like a little drip right here. Oh, uh, fly! Oh, that fly up in here. Ah. Shoot! I gotta take this. Oh, tripping. The fenders are okay. So, uh, after I get to shooting the clear, I'm gonna show y'all how I look on the first set of clear. Then after that, I'm gonna lay uh, the special signs that I have for the bed and then I'm gonna clear over it, all right? Uh, I can always use house paint to fix this. Uh, but right now I'm gonna let it dry completely. You see this side is still wet. I thought it was gonna look like this, but I like, ah, it's wood, it's gonna dry up. It's not like the car. Uh, that's what he wanted, he wanted to paint it. So, uh, I can always use house paint, long story short. And then it'll look probably better than what it is, to be honest with this. But I don't know, cause I never painted wood. This is my first time ever doing it, and my last time doing it. So once I do the clear, I know what's good with it. So, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna let y'all see how I look after I do the clear. That black on the fenders are already so shiny, look like the clear is on that joker, you know what I'm saying? I'll be back with y'all. So the bill came out all right. This side over here is perfect. These two. They're perfect. Now this side over here, the damn tape dropped. It dropped on its own. It's just a clear coat. Look at this joker. Ooh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, y'all, here you go. I got uh, messed up spots on the uh, front fender right here. I got orange peel on that one. And I also got orange peel on this one at the back. At the back end with a drip. So, you know, I gotta, I gotta buff it out, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I gotta buff it out. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the house, clean it off, and buff it. Like right here, it's, it's overspray, all right there. I use a clay bar to get most of it up. So I'm gonna finish it off right now and then tomorrow get it buff. So you see how clear this is right here? Uh, I got overspray on my camera. This is pretty clear. And then this one is somewhat clear. It's just certain spots not clear because of the overspray. But that's it. 
it went on it went it was rough doing this one again and it's because i had to do the black part if i would have did the blue oh man it would have been super duper easy but that's it y'all i'm tired so i'm gonna do a review on this one i'm gonna open up the the cover the hood see the engine and stuff and uh the doors and let you see a good uh review of the inside too but that's it for this video appreciate y'all for watching my videos and thank y'all for continuing to watch them hey i i got proof of ads so hey make sure y'all watch my ads now i gotta get paid too now <laughs> but no thank you to each and every one of you guys and girls have a good day take care thank y'all Can't wait till I'm rich. Yeah. I'ma hop out with them bands. Them